Hey there everyone, welcome to Awkward Story Saturday. So, this one's gonna be a bit awkward since I'm not in my room to record this. I've been kicked out due to loud music, darn neighbors. Anyway, so I'm here in my recording space. It's dark alone. I think there might be rats in here. I'm not sure. It's really dark in here. I didn't bother to turn on the lights. Okay, so this week I'm gonna share something that happened to me in high school. So, in high school, I was kind of an awkward kid as you might imagine. But, I was kind of in the emo crowd I don't know maybe it was just a phase okay so I had super long hair back in high school I just like did the emo over just covering one of my eyes doing the hair flip occasionally honestly I it was really comfortable for me so it wasn't as much as me wanting to be emo but I did like the look emos had cuz I don't know the long hair just felt comfortable to me and I still keep my hair long to this day I don't really like cutting it that much it just doesn't feel natural to me anymore plus it keeps me warm in the winter and it's freaking cold out these days. Like, holy crap. Anyway, so, in high school, most of my friends thought I was, like, extremely emo. Mostly because I did hang out with one other friend that was emo, and I think he was emo -er than me. Aside from not having the longer hair. Like, this dude dressed the part. But, anyway, so there was one particular day in high school where I went to school not even realizing that my hair was being extra emo that day. So it completely covered my eyes and I did I had no idea. I walked around the entire day like that. And I kept getting weird looks. This day was like really weird to me because at the time I didn't realize my hair was super emo until I got home. And the whole day just walking down to my next class, I get people staring at me, pointing at me, like giggling and talking amongst themselves, whispering in each other's ears. And um I kept getting weird compliments from people like there was one guy in particular that had the locker next to me during PE class or gym class for some of you and he just looked at me and was all like he was like dumbstruck and he was like ah oh, awesome hair man I'm like thanks uh, I, I didn't even I thought he was fucking with me like I, I didn't even think this guy was serious but a little after PE actually started after we changed there was two of my actual classmates that walked up to me and said how do you even see through the hair, man? How do you even see? And I was like, I, at the time, keep in mind, I didn't know that my hair was covering my eyes. I was like, I, I pointed at my eyes. I'm like, yeah, I could see. What? What? So that confused the hell out of me at the time. Because like after that, they were like, oh, do you remember when he pointed at his freaking eyes? That's how he sees. I'm like, what, what the fuck? And one of them even shouldn't be talking. He like, I don't know what the fuck was wrong with this guy. He oddly made fun of me sometimes but at the same time I was his confidant like some one day this guy saw another dude's wiener and I, I know the, du the dude whose wiener he saw like I know we're not like freaking best friends but I know him and he knows me so I could honestly tell him one day hey this dude saw your wiener during PE class when you were changing so I don't know he like I know it's like not really that big a deal it's just a freaking wiener but the dude was like really ashamed of seeing another man's wiener for whatever reason. So when I got home, I was like, what the hell is the big deal with my hair? And I went to check out if there was something special because I don't go to the bathroom at school. So I didn't even think to go there to check. And I didn't have a mirror or phone at the time. So phones were like really like mad back then. So the picture quality was shit. So I honestly didn't even think to do any of that. So until I got home, I checked out my hair. It completely covered my eyes, and I had no idea that was happening all day. Like, it was like, no wonder people were staring at me. But at the same time, like, there were people who looked more emo than I did. I don't know why I, I was getting all these looks in particular. So, I don't know. That was just really weird. So, anyway, that's kind of why I prefer having long hair now. I had it through all of high school. And I don't know, after a while, it just gets really comfortable. The first time I cut my hair, after it grew to... I could basically put my bangs in my mouth at that point. So after that, my mom was like, okay, this is the final straw. We're going to get you a haircut. And, like, she offered me money. So, you know, being in high school and not having money, I kind of took the offer. I mean, I, just, I could grow my hair back. But it never grew back the same after that. Because the place we went to, they screwed up my hair so bad. I looked hideous with short hair. So after that, I was like, you know what? I'm keeping my hair long forever. And now I'm losing it due to aging and balding. So, I still have hair, I still have hair, but uh, it's thinning, it's thinning. 
So anyway, that's going to do it for me for this week. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this story and maybe you experienced something similar. If you have, please let me know. I would love to hear about it. Or if you have any questions about this story, please feel free to ask in the comments section. I will gladly reply to you guys.